and coming to pata lok you know the trailer looks so intense and gripping i mean it's something that we're really looking forward to what was it that drew you towards this script so the first thing was that I'm, i was cast and i know that you know i keep i will keep uh, hearing these allegations of how i cast myself all my actor friends jo hain jitne bhi hain wo mujhe instagram live pe bhi troll karte hain ki ye khud ko apna apko ko cast kar leta hai type se so this is something which has been going on since three yeah. but i keep telling them that agar itna easy hota to main three se pehle bhi kar leta you know i've been casting for like probably a decade now the thing is that when pata lok came my way i had just finished three three had released and uh, sudeep sir karnesh the makers close they were all friends and i went and told them that you know i want to play the role which ishwak is doing they are like you know, we don't think you are fit for that imagine they just rejected me on that but then sudeep sir ne mujhe bola ki ya tu uska audition de we'll try for this and uh, it took me some time to you know prepare for the audition and finally i gave the audition and i think uh, within 2 to 3 days they called me back saying that you are doing this i never expected myself to do this part okay so what was the kind of prep that you had to do for hathoda tyagi the first thing which i was starting was you know i was trying to get the anger and i was trying to get the the, the how how deadly he is and you know i have to stand up to the name and strong and all of that but then during workshop there was this one time when shashi bhushan he took the uh, took the audition and he started talking to me about my childhood and you know from their uh, abundance like you know how how we live a very abundant life you know? mm-hmm. and then suddenly there was this day where he locked me in the room where it was all dark and i couldn't see anything and he just wanted me to meditate and uh, i meditated there with my eyes open for like 15 minutes aisa nahi ki pura din kar diya 15 20 minute hi tha wo बट वो अंधेरे में जब मैं कुछ देख नहीं पा रहा था अपनी आंख खोल कर भी आई थिंक आई अंडरस्टूड हाउ लेस वी सी एज ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड देयर इज सो मच मोर टू सी एंड द आई स्टार्टेड फीलिंग द इंटेलेक्ट्स इन सो मेनी ह्यूमन बींग्स हु आर लिविंग दिस एंड स्पेशली नाउ तो आई थिंक वी ऑल कैन रिलेट टू दैट एक्सपीरियंस राइट राइट सो नाउ दैट completely changed the thought process i completely got i was driven to the pain the angst the the suffering of the character and then there was this one day when i i was in the car my wife was driving and we were coming out we were going back to our house and i started crying thinking about one of the moment from the scene and that's when it hit me that's when i hit me that i, I can i can really feel the pain this guy has gone through and that i actually carried on in the performance on set so the aggression and the violence and everything were they took a back seat actually the anger took a back seat it was more about uh, trying to feel him and trying mm-hmm. to feel what uh, such human beings go through around us hamare aas paas hi hote par hame dikhte nahi but did it also take a mental toll on you by you know in any way because a lot of actors have said that you know like the characters they play remain with them even after the shoot is over so what, did that affect you in any way if i have doubts if i have questions in my head and you know i need some answers and i'm not getting those answers maybe i start thinking about hathoda when he's sitting in the jail and looking for answers i try to take out the, the positive ones because you know they teach you live life because sometimes when you play these dark characters and when you are doing this kind of you know intense parts and roles what you also realize that thank god that you don't have to be in that reality see it's coming from our our reality right it's not avengers some koi kya bolte hain fantasy nahi bana rahe hain to hamari aas paas ki kahani hai aur wo kahani kahan se aati hai hamare dimag mein tabhi aati hai jab hum unke bare mein padhte hain sunte hain dekhte hain to wo sab to hamare paas hi ho raha hai So I am always thankful. I am grateful that you know I am not living that life, and I am living this life where I am, you know, at peace. Also, did you uh, watch any crime thrillers or uh, you know mystery murder kind of stories or movies? Yeah, Mind Hunter, Seven again, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. I I like to just go and watch some great performances, not so that I can go and copy them, mm-hmm. but so that I can get inspired by them, you yeah. know. and i feel the eeriness because if i'm feeling the eeriness from them then i can 
maybe you know apply that and you know do something with it I just watch some great performance and then you immediately get inspired by it and you know you want to do something good with yourself any indian shows or tv series or movies that have inspired you in this context inspiration is a big thing right like when you yeah. rang de basanti i think has inspired me i don't know i started believing in revolution again and and the jetika whole jessica movement happened and i was a part of rang de basanti and i was a part of no one no one so right it's, it's always about the performances usually like you know when you see garam yeah. hawa and you see baldev when you follow me so suddenly you just get inspired by him ki yaar what is he like you know where is he getting all of that from mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. or maybe watching mr bachchan doing divar and you get like you know completely in awe of this human being who can really do so well india web series web series ki baat karenge to i think made in heaven is something which inspired me in terms of i think it, it taught me a lot about also patalok has been produced by anushka sharma so was she actively involved in the production process or you know did you guys interact with each other she was always the support she was the backbone and you know who i think uh, the biggest credit to her is that she chooses to always make these Uh, stories which are concept heavy mm-hmm. you know which are always all all of all of them like even in the stand or whether philori for that matter or pari yeah. for that matter yeah you know they are all different clean slate you never know you never yeah. know what to expect sure. that's the best thing about the producer like you know that someone is ready to back good content without any big stars mm mm-hmm. mm Right. In these days, web shows. Then we do both that we want to see a very popular face or something like that. But we don't go by that logic when you're making a patal. And what was your most difficult scene in this series? I think the the the, the violence. I think the the one where I'm butchering or the hammering the the kids. And it was also because the shooting conditions were very tough. You know, it was really, really hot, almost about forty-five degrees, and uh, Pura. Then I had to like run, and you know, the, the, that needs a lot of energy. And this is the first time I was doing something like that, and full-fledged, proper uh, action scene with rage, and the rage which is borderline maniac. So you know, you need to put in a lot of effort and energy for that, and that was, I think, the most difficult. और पूरा दिन कुछ नहीं हुआ बस लास्ट में एक सिंपल सा शॉट था कांच तोड़ना था उसको मेरा शोल्डर डिसोकेट हुआ ओके ऑसम थैंक यू सो मच अभिषेक फॉर योर टाइम एंड वी आर वेटिंग टू सी पाता लुक ओके थैंक यू टेक केयर बाय सब्सक्राइब टू मिड डे इंडिया गेट डायरेक्ट नोटिफिकेशंस ऑन ऑल आवर वीडियोस बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द बेल आइकन 